Hello and welcome to, to another tutorial from Zealous FX and this one will be just going through some useful shortcuts and all of these useful things that you can do in PowerPoint to help you get your slides done quicker. So I'll first go through some useful shortcuts and the first one is F5 and F5 which is on the top of your keyboard will basically play your slideshow from the beginning. So F5 will chuck up your slideshow, it's just a bit too big for you this though. And that is useful if you're on like slide 20 or something and you want to quickly go see the whole slideshow from slide 1. That's a very quick thing. And Shift F5 will play the slideshow from your current slide. So if I'm on this dragon fruit slide, I can Shift F5 and it will show the whole screen. So that's Shift F5. And also one which is also very useful is Control D. So that's Control and D, which will duplicate the image, make another copy of it. That's quite faster than going control C than control V. It's faster than copying and pasting because it's just one command, duplicate. Now, sometimes, like in my case, I have a widescreen monitor and the default for PowerPoint is square. So it doesn't exactly fit nicely. There's always those two black lines on the side of the screen. So in order to change your slide size so it fits a 16 by 9 monitor, a widescreen monitor instead of a square monitor you go into the design tab page setup and width now you sort of have to do a bit of trial and error you can i think that um for a 16 by 10 ratio you have to change it to 28.4 centimeters in width and then it widens a bit and it just um take be aware that it stretches everything on the slide so you might want to do this at the start or copy everything onto another presentation and copy it back over once you've resized it. Okay, let me undo that. And then if you want to make it widescreen, I think 16 by 9 is 30.4 centimeters in the page setup. Another useful thing is the image adjustments. You can easily click on an image like this dragon fruit, go into the format tab and crop the image, which will just crop it if you don't want to make it so big, you can even do this uh, for backgrounds or anything. Crop it, then save it back. But you can crop it, and then you can change the brightness of an image. You can change the contrast of an image. And all sorts of things to make the image slightly better. Now, um, you can also save an image again. So, you can right-click on an image, save as picture. You can do this with also anything else. You could insert a circle, do another one, right drag over them, group them, group them, and save as picture. And that will allow you to save it in a variety of formats, which is pretty cool. There's like PNG, JPEG, TIF, um, all sorts of useful file formats. Now, I'll go through some PowerPoint settings, PowerPoint options. There's the theme, color scheme. I like the black one which is quite cool, and there's also the silver scheme. That was a quick tutorial on some little aspects of PowerPoint that most people do not know about. Thank you for watching, see ya.